What's up YouTube? Thought I'd introduce my first vlog series, I guess we could call it the Road to Olympia. And what better way to introduce it than on beautiful Santa Monica Beach with the pier in the background. I'm going to try and take you guys through a few of the ways that I like to try and stay on track when I'm traveling. We're going to try and hit a few team sessions. I've got a few collaborations lined up. And apart from that, we're going to have a little bit of fun along the way too. What's up YouTube? Day two of the Olympia 2016 vlog series. Got up this morning. First things first, here with my mate Joe Pitt. It's been a little, been a little bit of time since we've uh, hung out last and even though we're on slightly different teams now, uh, still good mates, still out to uh, get the job done. Went to uh, Muscle Beach this morning hoping to film, ended up being a huge film crew there that were doing some filming this morning. So. Unfortunately, we had to give that a miss, uh, and instead we are at IHOP. So, what I thought I'd do today is take you guys through, I guess, what could, could be considered a typical day of eating. Um, obviously, I'm on the road, so things are a little bit different, but I'll take you through a, a few of the ways that I make some decisions to make my job or make my life a little bit easier in terms of staying on track, uh, and then even later on, we'll go through a, a bit of a, a grocery shop as well to, to make things easier. So we're at IHOP, we've got the menu in front of us. The best way to go about doing these sorts of things, first and foremost, is to sort of figure out what it is you want and then look at putting that sort of stuff into my fitness pal to see what sort of macros they are. So restaurants like IHOP, heaps of restaurants like this in the States and, and some at home as well, ha readily have their, informa their nutritional information in my fitness pal. So all you have to do is make sure that you enter in a few entries, pick the right one, and you're good to go. So unfortunately, most of the stuff on this menu is horrifically calorie dense. Uh, some of these meals even contain up to 80 grams of fat for a single serve. Now, if you have been tracking your own macros, you can obviously you know, put that into perspective in terms of what you're eating currently and, and how you might even go about fitting that. So what you really wanna make sure you do is log anything you're gonna eat ahead of time because the last thing you wanna do is eat something that maybe you can't quite afford to eat and then end up having to eat egg whites and broccoli for the rest of the day. So both Joe and I have both gone for the same thing. We've gone for uh, two options that are considered to be the simple and fit uh, menu items. We've got a two egg breakfast on the way as well as a vegetable omelet. So hopefully uh, they'll be here soon and we'll, uh, we'll run through the macros and, and what they look like in a bit. Sweet, food has just arrived. I think I've also got some toast on the way, but for 54 grams of fat, 24 grams, sorry, 54 grams of protein, 24 grams of fat and 79 grams of carbs, we have what you see before us here. So we've got a vegetable omelet with some fruit and we've also got scrambled egg whites, turkey bacon, and some more fruit. Fruit is a big thing in this country. Pretty sure I've got some toast on the way too, which is where all those carbs have come from because I don't see uh, 80 grams of carbs in that fruit. So this is gonna set me up for the rest of the day. As I said, we've, we've chosen something relatively low calorie, simply so we have a little bit of flexibility later on in the day. You know, so often with um, you know, trips like this, we have a lot of team events and team dinners and, and team social occasions, obviously at the back end of the day. So if we can keep a few calories up our sleeve, it just makes the rest of our time a little bit easier. So the last thing we want to be doing, uh, obviously, is, is overeating the entire time we're away. So by going something a little bit lower calorie in the morning, I'm kind of hoping that um, you know, it, it leaves the flexibility and the freedom later on to go out and enjoy ourselves a little bit more. So we're going to hit these. And I'll keep you posted when uh, lunch rolls around. Just heading now to a cafe, I'm gonna go meet Chandler, who is Steve's videographer. We're gonna grab a feed, catch up. He runs a bit of a social uh, media business, so uh, I've actually hired him for a little bit of consulting work. Uh, so we're gonna catch up, grab a feed, uh, and as mentioned, I will run you through what I eat. So we are at a place called Creation, here with Chandler, and we've both gone for, what's it called? The Omega Bowl. The Omega Bowl. The Omega Bowl. We both added extra chicken. As you can see, we've got basically an egg white scramble with vegetables. Again, keeping that low fat trend, simply so we've got a little bit more room to play with at the end of the day. Looks pretty good. All right, so we're gonna take a bit of a hiatus from uh, the daily meals. What we're gonna do is just running through a few things that I brought along with me to try and make my trip a little bit easier. Stuff's everywhere still. 
So when uh, on the road, obviously hitting your macros is challenging at times. Most foods typically low in protein. It's about it. Most foods that you get when you eat out tend to be high in carbs and fats without coming with too much protein. So what I typically tend to do is whenever I do travel, uh, I will bring with me some protein powder. As you can see, I actually haven't opened it yet. Um, I managed to get enough whole food in yesterday. Um, for me, the biggest thing, as I said, is, is hitting protein tends to be fairly difficult. So, in the event that you aren't actually getting close enough to your protein numbers, obviously having some protein on hand is gonna make hitting those protein targets much more easy to do. As you can see, I also brought some amino energy with me. A lot of early mornings on a trip like this simply tends to mean that when I wake up, I'm pretty tired. Having a bit of a caffeine hit in the morning tends to help me out. Also doubles a bit of a pre-workout. I didn't bring any of that with me, but yeah, that's gonna suffice for now. Weight scales, also pretty important, particularly for weighing out portions. Gonna go for a grocery shop later on today. I'm gonna talk you guys through that. Um, and give you a bit of an insight to what yeah, sort of foods I buy when on the road and versus when I'm at home. Um, but obviously, if you are looking at really staying on track, bringing those food scales with you, pretty important. All right, so just done with my grocery shop at Whole Foods. That's pretty good footage. Hopefully, uh, that'll be a good uh, little YouTube clip for you to look out for. As you can see, got all my groceries here. I bought a few things from the baked goods section, and I'm gonna I'm gonna smash one of those right now. I'll show it to you in just a tick, but that is gonna serve as my pre-workout meal. I'm gonna have that with a protein shake. Then I'll have my uh, my dinner sorted for a little bit later on. So, two seconds, I'll show that to you. Check these beauties out. So I think it's called a whoopie pie. And it's basically a cake with cream in it. Winning. Our team, whoopie pie down, just rolling into goals. Time to train some legs.
So it's about 8.30 at night. There's about 8 million people in this gym. And legs. And day two of the Olympia 2016 vlog is done and dusted. Okay, so I'm home from the gym, my legs are cooked, and I've got my last meal for the day. So, using some of the foods that I picked up earlier from Whole Foods, I've just thrown together a meal to fill, essentially, my remaining macros. Keeping in mind that I estimated a little bit today with uh, my pre-workout meal, um, I probably left a few calories up my sleeve, but, I mean, either way you look at it, either I've consumed them today, or I might just end up banking a few extra calories for later on in the week in Vegas when we've got a team event on. So, with that being said, we've got uh, almost 300 grams of chicken breast, we've got close to 200 grams of brown rice, and then we've got some green veg, so we've got Brussels sprouts and beets. Looks like a pretty sexy looking meal to me. I'm going to eat that, get this video up to you now. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to pop them in the comments section below. That brings episode one of the Olympia 2016 vlog to an end. Thanks for watching, guys. Please make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for my upcoming shopping, my grocery shopping video. Peace.